In this video, we're going to show you how we use this program and how we use a ballistic pendulum in real life to determine the speed of a ballistic object like a bullet, an arrow, or in this case, a little metal ball. So we fire the metal ball at a very high speed, too high to measure in other ways. It's going to crash into a box, and that box, we know the mass of it. That'll be mass 2. The bullet will be mass 1. Okay, and then what's going to happen is when the bullet hits the block, the block's going to swing back and forth like a pendulum. What we want to do is mark the farthest that the box swings back. And in this case, it's a 31.1 degree angle. So when the box reaches its farthest spot, we mark that. What we need to do is figure out how high up it went. We do this with some basic trigonometry. Once we have that height, we can figure out the potential energy due to gravity that was achieved by the box and the ball. That'll be the height, the gravitational field, and the mass. From conservation of energy, we can solve for the speed of the system right after the collision. We cannot do this before the collision because some of the energy is going to be lost to heat and sound during the collision itself. So we take the potential energy gravity, we solve for the kinetic energy, we set it equal to the kinetic energy, and we solve for the velocity of the system right after the collision. Then we analyze the collision. And the collision is a momentum type of problem. So the momentum of the ball before the collision should equal the momentum of the ball and box after the collision. So we take the mass of just the ball times its velocity, which we don't know, and set it equal to the total mass of our system and the velocity of the system right after the collision. This will allow us to find the un only unknown, which is the original velocity of the ball before the collision. Okay, the only thing that I think needs a little bit more clarification is how we get that height. So what we do is we envision the box at its farthest location. We know the length of the string. We know the angle, 31.1 degrees. We turn this into a triangle. And we find this vertical part of the triangle. Once we know that vertical part of the triangle, we know that the entire length of the string is 96 centimeters. So the difference between this vertical part and the length of the string will be the height to which the box rose after the collision. 